ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨ ਅੰਗ 525 ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਹੋ ਬਾਈ ਭਗਤ ਰਵਿਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਗੂਜਰੀ ਰਾਗ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਗੂਜਰੀ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਵਿਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਕੇ ਪਦੇ ਘਰ ਤੀਜਾ ਇਕੋ ਅੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਦੂਧ ਤਬ ਛਰੈ ਥਨ ਹੋ ਬਿਟਾਰਿਓ ਫੂਲ ਭਵਰ ਜਲ ਮੀਨ ਬਿਗਾਰਿਓ ਦੂਧ ਤਬ ਛਰੈ ਥਨ ਹੋ ਬਿਟਾਰਿਓ ਫੂਲ ਭਵਰ ਜਲ ਮੀਨ ਬਿਗਾਰਿਓ ਮਾਈ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਪੂਜਾ ਕਹਾਂ ਲੈ ਚਰਾਵਾ ਅਵਰ ਨ ਫੂਲ ਅਨੂਪਨ ਪਾਵਾ ਰਹਾਉ ਮੈ ਲਾਗਰ ਬੇਰੇ ਹੈ ਪੁਯੰਗਾ ਬਖ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਬਸ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਸੰਗਾ ਧੂਪ ਦੀਪ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਿਦ ਹੈ ਬਾਸਾ ਕੈਸੇ ਪੂਜ ਕਰ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੀ ਦਾਸਾ ਤਨ ਮਨ ਅਰ ਪਉ ਪੂਜ ਚਰਾਵ ਗੋਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਨਿਰੰਜਨ ਪਾਵ ਪੂਜਾ ਅਰ ਚਾਹੇ ਨ ਤੋਰੀ ਕਹਰ ਵਿਦਾਸ ਕਵਨ ਗਤ ਮੋਰੀ ਪੂਜਾ ਅਰ ਚਾਹੇ ਨ ਤੋਰੀ ਕਹਰ ਵਿਦਾਸ ਕਵਨ ਗਤ ਮੋਰੀ ਸਤਕਾਰ ਜੋਗ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਿਡ ਭਗਤ ਰਵਿਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਭਗਤ ਰਵਿਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸਪੀਕਸ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਇਨ ਗੂਜਰੀ ਰਾਗ ਗੂਜਰੀ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਵਿਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਕੇ ਪਦੇ ਪਦੇ meaning these verses we can equate them loosely with verses the word verse in english are written by bhagat ravidas ji and they are to be sung in the karti ja in the third house of beat and rhythm and the shabad begins with the mangala charan the introductory supplication to god ik o ankar there is one eternal wahiguru who is the creator of all and who is found through the prasad the grace of the sat the eternal guru bhagat das ji in the shabad today is talking about external worship bhagat ji begins the shabad dood ta bachara than ho bitareo and if before we go to the first talk of the shabat if we look at the rahau line that will help us understand the rest of the shabat with the, the grace of pagat ji pagat ji says mai o oh mother and mai can be used in the sense that we use it in punjabi as mai bhai mai bhai meaning brothers and sisters Oh brothers and sisters mai oh my mother gobind puja kahan la chirawo how can i chirawo offer up the puja the worship kahan la where can i get those things to worship gobind that bind that seed of the universe akal par kuvah guru who's created this whole universe where can i get those pure things with which to worship that wah guru mai he can be used in the sense of o oh, guru ji o oh, my mother o oh, guru bless me with this grace bless me with this understanding my in this sense can be used to be saying oh saintly beings of the congregation please help me avarna phool anupan pavo and gurmukh pyare will come to, back to that second talk of the rahau whilst we're looking through the rest of the shabad but this first talk of the raho mai gobind puja kahan la chravo there's this idea running throughout the shabad where can i get 
those pure things, those pure objects with which to worship Akal Purku Wahiguru, the Lord God. Dood the Bachara Tanho Bitario. Dood, if someone is sitting there and it's almost as if there's this conversation between Pagatji and this figure of Maya of the mother. Pagatji has this question, the answer comes back, offer milk. Pagatji says, Dood the Bachara Tanho Bitario. The milk has been bitario, has been contaminated, has been made juta. Jut and such are a concept within the Indian subcontinent where if someone eats from a plate, that plate becomes contaminated by them, it becomes juta. And before they've eaten, it's called sucha. And Pagji says, Dood the bachara tanho bitario. The bachara, the calf, has put its mouth to the teat of the cow. Tanho means the teat of the cow. And has bitario, has made it juta, has contaminated it. The milk is already contaminated by the calf. Pool pavar jal meen bigario. If we say, to Bhagatji, offer up flowers. Bhagatji says, Fool Pavar. Jalameen Bigario. The pool, the flowers have been contaminated. Bigario in this terms also meaning contaminated. The flower has been contaminated, has been made juta by the Pavar, by the bee. When the bee sits upon it and takes its fragrance. Jal, if we say to Pagji, we'll offer water. Pagji says, Jal mean bigario. The fish that lives in the water, spends its whole life in the water, does everything in the water, eats and sleeps in the water, does all of its bodily functions in the water. Surely that fish has contaminated the water. So Pagji is going through all of these external things. And Gurmukh Pyaryo, the blessed saintly soul, Santagyani Guru Bachan Singh Ji, whilst interpreting these lines, has said, Dood the Bachara Tanaho Bataryo, that Vaheguru is within the calf as well. And within the calf, he has already tasted that milk. Vaheguru is in the bumblebee as well, that's sitting upon the flower. Vaheguru is in the fish as well that live within the water. And he has already enjoyed the taste of all these things through each of those life forms because God is pervading through all. Gurmukh, if we come back to this idea that everything has been contaminated, Bhagatar Ji says, Mahi, O Mother, O Guruji, O Saintly Beings, Gobind Puja kaha le chirawa? What can I chirawa? What can I offer for the puja, for the worship of God? There's nothing left pure on this world. Avarna pool anupana pavo. I cannot pavo, I cannot find avar any other pool, any other flowers which are anupan, which are anupan meaning beautiful, wondrous. I can't find these beautiful flowers that are pure to offer to Wahiguru. The Gurmukh Pyaro, in whilst interpreting this line, Professor Sahib Ji Singh says in his Sri Guru Granth Sahib Darpan, Avarna Phool Anupna Pavo. I cannot find any flowers. Fool, Avarna Phool, Avar means any other flowers. I cannot find any flowers to offer up and I cannot find anything pure to offer up. So Anup and Apawa, does this mean that I will not find Anup? Anup means Wahiguru who is beyond praise, who is so beauteous, who is so wondrous, he is beyond praise. How can I find him? Is there no way I will find him? That's the way that Professor Saib Singh has interpreted this line. Rahul, pause and think about this. Mai lagar bere hai poyanga. Mai lagar, the sandalwood. If we say, well, you can worship with sandalwood paste. Pagji says, Mai lagar bere hai poyanga. The sandalwood trees, the sandalwood plants, are bere, are encircled by poyanga, by snakes. 
in the forests of India, snakes wrap themselves round the sandalwood plants. If we say, find the mythical immortal nectar, which is talked about in Indian myths. The Gurmukh Piyaru, I want to make this very clear. Amrit in this line here is not talking about the Amrit of Naam, the immortal nectar of God's name. That's not what it's referring to. And it's not talking about the Amrit with the, which the Panj Piyare give. That's not the Amrit they're talking about here. The Amrit here is the mythical Amrit. And if we say, if you find that mythical immortal drink, where, why don't you worship the Lord with this? And Pagadji says, that according to the myths when the demons and the demigods got together and churned the ocean poison and this immortal this drink of immortality came out at the same time and Pagdravdaji says coming out at the same time as poison this drink of immortality has already been corrupted. Incense, deep, candles. Neibidha means sweet puddings to offer up. Basa. Basa means smells, perfumes. And Gurmukh Pyaru, another way of interpreting this line is Toop, incense, deep, candles and lights, Neibidha, Neibidha, meaning the puddings, Basa, they all give off smells. And because of this smells, Basa can also mean contaminated. It has been interpreted by Sampradayak scholars as meaning contaminated. Through their smell, we've already, I've by smelling the incense before I light it, I've already contaminated it by smelling the smell which is given off by a lamp. In India, the lamps were lit with butter or with oil. By smelling that already, I've contaminated the lamp as well. I've contaminated the sweet puddings by smelling off the aroma which comes from them. They are all contaminated. How can I? Engage in your puj, in your worship. How can I, your slave, your dasa, engage in your worship, O Lord? Now Pagdravdasji comes to explain their philosophy. Tanman arpo puj charavo. Tanman. Tan meaning your body, man meaning your mind. Offer up your mind and body. Arpo, offer these up to Vaheguru. Puj Chiravo, this is the way of offering up Puj worship to God. And what does Guru Amar Das Ji say to us every day in our nit name? Guru Amar Das Ji says, Tan man tan sab sop gur ko hukm manne paiye. Tan man tan, give your mind, body and wealth to the Guru. But remember this Pagat Rav Das Ji says, Gur prasad niranjan paavo, the only way of finding, finding niranjan, and Pai Veer Singh Ji stresses this, in his interpretation of this Shabbat, is that Pagdhar Dahji is saying, you may offer up your mind and body, but even if you offer up your mind and body with ego, they will not be accepted. Only if you offer them up in humility, knowing that they already belong to Vaheguru, Gur Prasad, then you will gain the Guru's grace, Gur Prasad Naranjan Pavo, only through the Guru's grace Will you power? Will you find that Niranjan, that Lord God who is beyond this illusion of the world? And that is what Pai Veer Singh Ji stresses that Pagdhar Das Ji is putting across in this Shabbat. Gur Prasad Niranjan Pava, only through the Guru's grace. Yes, offer up your mind, body, and soul. But remember, it is only through the Guru's grace, the Gur Prasad, that you will be blessed. And how will you get the Gur Prasad? If you say to the Guru, Kabir mera mujh mein kich nahi jo kich hai so tera, tera tujh ko sopte kya lage mera. When you're giving your mind, body and soul, 
Do not say, I am giving something to you. If you're giving up your body, God is the one who gave you this body. If you're giving up your mind, it is only because God has given you this mind, body and soul that you can offer it. So lose your ego and offer in humility. That is the point of an offering. Puja archa ahe na tori. Ahe, I, I do not know tori, your puja, your worship, archa, your how to worship you, how to adore you. Puja archa is talking about worship and adoration. Kaharav das kavan gatamori. Kaharav das, Pakhtarav das ji says, kavan gatamori. How will I be saved? What is my gut? What will my condition be? Mori. And what these last two tokan by Pakhtar Dasji are stressing is this. Puja archa ahe natori. I have not got the capacity. I have not got the understanding. I have not got the intelligence. I have not got the understanding. I have not got the wisdom to worship you in any way. O oh, great Guru, please bless me with the wisdom. Please bless me with the understanding. Please bless me with the humility that when I offer up this mind, body and soul to you, I'm not afflicted by the disease of ego. So Bhagdar of Dahji is saying to us in this Shabbat today, offer up your mind, body and soul to the Guru. Now after listening to the vichar of this Shabbat, to an interpretation of this Shabbat, that doesn't mean that we're going to stop offering flowers at the Gurdwara. It doesn't mean we're going to stop offering Ramale to Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Do all of these things. But Pakhtar of Das Ji is saying, Gur Prasad Naranjan Pavo. Tan Man Arpa Pooj Chiravo. If you truly want to worship the Guru, then where you're giving Ramale, where you're giving flowers, where you're giving milk for the Gurdwara, where you're giving whatever it is, where you're giving your Daswand, Tanman Arpo, also give your mind and body to the Guru. How can you do this? By engaging in Simran, by doing Nitanim, by taking the Guru's Amrit, by following the Guru's Rahat. That is the way. And whilst following the Guru's Rahat, whilst doing Simran, whilst following the Guru's teachings, remember Gur Prasad Naranjan Pavo. It is that Gur Prasad that we're looking for. And the only way that Guru Prasad is found is through humility and through following the Guru's path, keeping that humility in mind. Puja archa ahe na tori, kaharav das kavan gat mori, vaheguru ji ka khalsa, vaheguru ji ki fateh.